Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Shauna Pandya and I'm a physician, scientist, astronaut, candidate with Project Possum, Aquanaut, Explorer, and VP of Immersive Medicine with Luxonic Technologies. And my start into the space world started with the most basic form of astronomy and that was just stargazing as a kid. My parents were great for taking my brother and I camping and we would see the most beautiful night skies all across Canada and the northwestern United States. And it was just being in those beautiful, dazzling nightscapes where you would see the Milky Way galaxy spiral arms leap out at you at night that really made me want to be a part of the space world. And the rest, I guess you can say, is history. What's your story? Hi, I'm Kat. I'm a deep space artist uh, based currently in the UK, but I normally live in Australia, but I spend half my time in California. Hi, my name is Dahlia Grellin, and I am one half of Galactic Hunter. Hi, I'm Jenny St. Lawrence. I'm the other half of OPT, and I'm from Franklin, Tennessee. Hi, I'm Diana. I'm an astrophotographer, and I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, my name is Linda, and I'm from Los Angeles. Hey, what's up? My name's Lanchin. I'm originally from Ormond Beach, Florida, but I currently live in Los Angeles, California. Hi everyone, my name is Bailey Burns and I am an aerospace systems engineer. Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Helena and I'm a 15 year old amateur astrophotographer from the southwest of Scotland. Hi, my name is Kat. I am an electrical engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab and currently I reside in Pasadena, California. My name is Kate Gunderson. I'm a mechanical and aerospace engineer. I'm originally from Fargo, North Dakota, but I currently live in Houston, Texas. Hi, I'm Sarah Longcore and I'm from regional Victoria in Australia. My name's Stacey Downton. I live in Birmingham, which is in the UK. Hi everyone, I'm Camille, or the Galactic Gal. I'm originally from North Carolina, but now I live in Denver, Colorado. I'm Esther Trevino, also known as Space Kid at Esther Online. I'm born and raised in San Diego, California, and I currently live in Los Angeles. My name is Raquel Nuno, and I am a planetary scientist currently working on my PhD at UCLA. Hey everyone, my name is Amy. I live in Georgia, and I am an astrophotographer. So how did I get into Astro in the first place? Initially what got me started in this hobby was life on other planets and life in space and I wanted to be the one to find that life one day. So I immediately asked for a telescope in the hope of finding aliens on the moon. Just like everybody else, I've always really loved looking at the moon and I think that's how it started for me, even at a young age. I just remember, I just remember seeing how vivid and beautiful the moon was and I feel like I got captured by space ever since. Dustin came home and surprised me with a Dobsonian that he had bought on Craigslist. Uh, we took that out into the front yard and looked at the moon and it was a game changer. That was it. My love of astronomy comes from my grandfather. I have countless memories being in the backyard with him looking through his telescope and talking about what was going on in the night sky. In about second grade, I remember standing in the driveway on a warm summer night with my dad, um, looking up at the night sky, and I just knew, even at that young age, that I wanted to be involved with um, space exploration or aerospace engineering in some way. I have always really wanted my work to benefit humanity in some way, but specifically through space exploration. You could find me as a little kid outside, laying down at the trampoline, just looking up at the stars, trying to find the planets. I saw the moon through a telescope and I was just like, Wow, it's right there. Uh, we were in a park uh, at an elementary school working with some of like, the elementary school kids doing that. And I think I was more excited than the kids. I think I was like, oh, but did you guys see that? Like, oh my gosh. It's always so amazing to, to have that experience with someone, you know, the, the sense of awe and excitement that they get from looking through a telescope. I know I still, I still feel that way. Every time I look, um, I still feel a sense of wonder and, and excitement. Through astrophotography, I can capture those moments.
my favorite cosmic object in space, it would have to be the Pillars of Creation, a part of the Eagle Nebula. I've always loved it. I don't know why I've always loved it, but I've always loved it. I think it's so beautiful and it's definitely my favorite one still to this day. I really enjoy taking pictures of the Milky Way and just the peaceful feeling that you get sitting outside at night. It's just really relaxing and really peaceful. My favorite object would have to be the Orion Nebula. It was the first target that I shot, and uh, it's most people's first target. Um, Orion, oh, it comes around every winter for us. I love it that much that I've even got like a tattoo of it on my arm. <laughs> my favorite cosmic object is the Sunflower Galaxy M63. It is the first astro image I've ever taken, and it was with a plane wave on Twitch. That memory I have of it, I'll never forget it. My favorite cosmic objects are stars. Our universe is just so huge, it's ginormous, and it's freezing. And so the warmth that's within it, like suns and stars, um, I think that that's really special. Mars may seem cliche, but as an aerospace engineer working on human spaceflight and human space exploration, Mars means a whole lot to me. Just really, I want to thank everybody who's like supported me and, and helped me along this journey because, you know, without that help, I probably would have been like, okay, this is crazy. <laughs> I love the Astro family. I think that what we've got is just amazing. Just it makes it makes me bubble over with joy every time I like think of, of everyone in the Astro community, no matter where they are in the world. And this is the great thing that we're connected with people, you know, who shoot in the US, who shoot in Europe, who shoot in Australia. Like it truly is a global community and I love that. Everybody is seeking something deeper than themselves and to be able to connect with like-minded people that are asking the tough questions. Um, are we the only ones out here? Could there be life on another planet? Everybody kind of has this camaraderie to come together to help answer all of those questions for one another. Aerospace engineers are often tasked with some of the world's most difficult problems. I always feel like um, there's somebody I can talk to to, help, to get help with or guidance with one of these problems. The biggest gifts I've received as an aerospace engineer is, is confidence. I've connected with younger people my age, so fi other 15, 16, 17 year old astrophotographers doing the same as me. I've managed to help other people get into the hobby and get advice from people that have been in the hobby for a long time. So really without the connections, I wouldn't be where I am today. We're always learning from each other because everyone's always learning new information and we get to share it together and to see space exploration happen with a group of people and <laughs> it's the best feeling in the world. I think I'm speaking to a lot of people I don't think I would have spoken to before, which is pretty awesome because they're from all places around the world and I don't think I would have ever had this same opportunity to connect with people with something that we have in common. There was a big part of my life when I wasn't involved in astronomy and during that time I felt like there was a big piece of me missing. And so when I've come back to this hobby, I just feel like everything is right and I'm so happy and I'm just enjoying my life and I'm loving this community. I'm so grateful for the community that I'm part of now. I love being able to do outreach with kids. It just fuels my passion for continuing to share my love of space and science with them. So I'm really grateful that communities like this exist and you can literally attend events where you can meet more people who love astronomy just as much as you do. And most of them are open to the public. I have made so many friends and I have been able to help so many people. I really truly think that it has changed my life in the way that not only am I able to work on what I love and have dreamt of doing since I was a little kid, but it's really important for me to also help others get here as well. I feel like we have such a solid, helpful community that I, and I've never been a part of a community like that before, uh, where everyone's just cheers you on and is so willing to help. It, it's so inspiring and refreshing, and I think it really helps. But you know what, ladies? I'd really appreciate it if some of you guys would join me out on the field. Um, it would just really improve the dynamics all around everything. This is not just for men. But there's a lot of clubs out there that just don't have the female representation that it really deserves. There's not a lot of women involved in this industry. It's a very um, male-dominated field, which I can talk about that for a long time. I'm an engineer. I think that we could all do better 
in pushing for that. Uh, these fields are truly not what they could be because there are not enough women in them. So I think we need to encourage big girls and little girls, um, women of all ages, to come to the STEM side. But you know, things are changing. I feel very hopeful and I'm excited for, you know, other female astrophotographers and astronomers to emerge, you know, whether they're doing astrophotography, they're doing art, you know, they're like honing their craft. I absolutely love that women are becoming more active in astronomy and astrophotography. It's so refreshing to come across women that appreciate space. Women are getting lots of great opportunities to be in the space field if they want to be. I really hope that more women become involved in astronomy and the space group of women just continues to grow. I want everyone to feel like they belong and you know so far my experience has been has been really amazing. Like I said before, people have been so welcoming and so willing to share their knowledge because there's so much that you can gain from seeing the beauty of, of the cosmos. It's and, and the fact that we are here to appreciate it. I want everyone to feel that wonder and that excitement. For me, the best part is the other females that I have had the pleasure of meeting and getting to know through college, work, and now Instagram and the science communication platform that I have, um, the Galactic Gal. I'm constantly amazed by all of the women in STEM that I meet all the time. And I'm excited for the next generation of women in STEM and just STEM in general. I like to get excited about um, astronomy. I like to tell other people it's out there in hopes that, you know, one of those little girls that I was with in the elementary school parking lot, looking at the stars, finding Jupiter's moons and stuff like that, in hopes that one of them will take that one day and be like, I remember when I saw Jupiter's moons for the first time and I was inspired to go chase down more answers. I'm hoping that ladies are gonna see this video and just go out there and, think, and just look up. Even if it's with a pair of binoculars, just go out and have a look at the constellations. Um, go to star parties I just want women to get involved and start putting themselves out there. If there were more of us doing it, then hopefully we could show people that, you know, women can do this. Even if you're one amongst 20 men, you are representing literally every single other woman or little girl that would want to be in that. And so I think to be visible and to be present is very, very important for that reason. I'm being surrounded by all kinds of incredible women who also are strong and powerful and intelligent has really helped me um, find a community that I can connect with and that makes me feel even more confident and connected and just like I have a place where I belong and it's been really incredible to be a part of that. I suspect that women are gonna be playing, you know, a, a, an equal part in astronomy as guys and you know, I just I just see the community growing more and more. I think, uh, you know, talking to people in, you know, their experiences throughout the generations is that, you know, there are more women, women getting, and kids getting into the, the hobby, and I think that's fantastic. It's become more clear that there aren't a lot of females in the hobby at all. So I think it's been promoted a lot more than it was. I mean, there are women going up doing spacewalks on the International Station now. I think that the best is yet to come. I think that society has come a long way. We have abolished a lot of stereotypes that are now going out the window and that needs to continue. Diversity needs to increase and I think that inclusion is the major buzzword for me. Getting more women involved, you know, it, it, it can build that community and support. Some people might need to, to get into this hobby. So my hopes for the future is that we can have more women in astronomy and astrophotography and maybe the, the female to male ratio might might even up a little bit and if I can inspire and help even just one woman to get involved um, if, if this is their passion then yeah I'll be pretty happy with that. Honestly now that I'm actually doing astrophotography myself my dream is that more women will not only be taking pictures of space but sharing those images with the world and we'll be seeing more of those just as much as we see men. The work that we are doing is working and I hope others feel inspired to help us that they'll join in and help us do this wonderful work. It's so important um, and so rewarding as well. I feel like we're moving in the right direction. I feel like that's my biggest hope is to just recruit more women into these fields and so if you're a woman that's watching this right now and you're considering one of these fields, please know 
that we need you. We need more of you, we need more of me. Don't get scared away by people saying it's rocket science. That just creates a barrier that doesn't need to be there. If you want to be a rocket scientist, an astronomer, anything in the space industry or really in STEM in general, then you can do it and you have to believe in yourself and not let anybody tell you otherwise. My challenge to you guys is to put your fears aside and come join us out on the field uh, as part of a club and explore beyond what's in our atmosphere. It's really quite magical. I'm excited to see women start bringing that passion to the table as well. I really think the future's bright for us. Start doing it. You have our support.